let's have a look at the different abilities. All the abilities fall into a particular group depending on the attribute which they are uh, dependent on. In the string tree we have rake, which is uh, the basic, uh, it upgrades the basic attack, it increases the attack speed and the damage. Bite, which is a po powerful melee attack that actually heals you for up to 45% of your maximum health if you have high strength. Um, Devour increases uh, the power of Bite. Then there's Trample on a medium cooldown. You can ch um, move for up to uh, 6 tiles before doing some damage. It's a very good uh, ability. Draconic Fury which increases all uh, strength based attacks. They have a 40% chance of doing double damage. This also increases your basic bump attack damage. So you can do double damage by just by doing the normal attack. And then finally there is Wing Buffet which dam damages enemies and pushes them back. Effective against cunning enemies. Then there are the stamina abilities. You start the game with breath. It, you know, Depending on what you choose you can have a line a cone or a ball. The line it does the most damage. It does stamina times 20. Uh, the cone ability does stamina times 10 and the ball ability does uh, stamina times 7.5. So if you choose a line spell then it will be at least twice as powerful as the others. Deep Breath adds uh, 2 range to Breath, but also increases the damage, depending on your stamina. As you can see, it's up to 40%, because you can get about 20 in any stat at the end of the game. Uh, hardened Scales ignores some damage of physical attacks. Gem Uncrossed Hide increases um, your strength and will a number of points based upon your stamina. For every 4 points of stamina you will gain 1 point of strength and 1 point of willpower. Indominatable will uh, increase your health by 20%. And Wiped Out is a specific spell for the White Dragon, so each dragon will have a different ability. But this one blinds for 3 turns as well as doing some damage and it's uh, effective against agile enemies. Then there are some willpower talents. The first one is also specific for each dragon. Uh, this one does some splash damage and some regular damage and is uh, effective against tough enemies. Then there is magic resistance which uh, ignores some non-physical damage. Uh, frightful presence which weakens the ability of visible enemies by a certain percentage depending on willpower. Then there is frost nova which is also specific for the uh, white dragon. It does some damage and uh, freezes the ground around you. Then there is Arcane Might that inc increases uh, will based damage. It has a, uh, a certain percentage chance to do double damage. And then finally, this is also specific for the White Dragon, there is Hailstorm which um, does some damage over time and is effective against tough enemies. So you will notice that most willpower abilities are effective against stuff. Most stamina abilities will be effective against uh, cunning enemies, ag agile enemies, and um, oh sorry, agile and most strength based attacks will be effective against cunning. So those are all the abilities. Now let's have a look at the final level. With the X button you can look around, so let's have a look what we're fighting against. The enemies you want to look out for are the priests, because they will heal the others. And the druids, because they also have a healing power. So I can already see two druids and two priests. Uh, actually one priest and and three druids. Mm. 
white dart is a skill that does damage to every enemy that is uh, visible and it also blinds them for 3 turns this is going to be my opener simply because it, it also disables many enemies and it does some moderate to severe damage to most of my enemies so I'm just gonna finish the priest with a regular bump attack now let's have a look I think I will try to take out the druid that is on the far end together with the hunter so let's see how much damage we can do the hunter is killed but the druid is only severely uh, damaged now um, my enemies will probably start uh, and the blindness will probably end on my enemies so let's see what orbs I have uh, I can heal, I can become invisible and I can do some damage the invisibility orb, um, I think it's a black dragon one is, is the best one, it's very powerful it just basically makes you invulnerable for 12 turns which is like crazy good and kind of you know overpowered actually so I can do some damage against tough enemies I, I might actually get this warlock and mage they are cunning enemies but they're ne they're close to me so there are actually no almost no tough enemies uh, close to me but I'm going to use uh, the Frost Nova just because I can get all these um, no, actually I'm gonna use the Wing Buffet which is strong against uh, cunning enemies so that might kill most of these mages and warlocks so I kill the mage uh, kill the other mage and critically wound some of them kill another wing lots of critically wounds there this is going to be easy I just really want to get rid of these runes so I'm gonna uh, move a bit and then I'm gonna use my other ability um, I think it's in range 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah it has a 6 range I believe so I'm gonna do Frost Nova that sh should probably kill the, uh, those last rooms and also freeze the area which is kind of convenient so let's have a look just one guy is still alive Um, now I can just do some bump attacks and then use bite to heal so you I'm almost I'm still almost full health and I'm just waiting for my uh, skills to recharge so now I can use breath again and I'll try to kill the shaman no, the druid I'm sorry still not dead do some bump attacks while waiting for my other skills to recharge so you will see that it's very effective and the druid is dead and I'm gonna heal again so you know I'm still like almost full health do some really fast attacks I can heal again if I want to oh but I didn't kill it so let's range the mage a bit and <coughs> I still haven't used any of these orbs I could use them if I want to but there is like absolutely no reason to I could go hide somewhere but I'm just gonna run straight up kill this one bite that one 
image blinks you know and I, I'm still full health so that's basically the final level if you're unlucky or if you um, don't have the right talents the right abilities then this level can actually be pretty damn hard but as you can see if you know what you're doing then it's actually not that hard